Welcome to Ariana's book summary series. I'm Ariana. Every day I'll share the key ideas I learned from a book here with you. Subscribe to my channel now if you don't want to miss it. The book for today is The Tao of Physics, An Exploration of the Parallels Between Modern Physics and Eastern Mysticism by Fridjof Capra. People often view science and spirituality as being incompatible. Western science is the realm of rationality, and math is its language. It expresses itself through numbers and formulas derived from careful testing in experiments. Eastern religions discourage rationality. They claim that intuition is the best way for us to learn and that it can help us perceive immeasurable truths. Buddhists need introspection, scientists learn by observing the outside world. But surprisingly, both end up with a similar worldview. Fritjof Capra attempted to reveal this in his 1975 classic book. The fundamental principles of how reality operates on a macroscopic level are typically what we mean when we use the term, science. From this viewpoint, matter, energy, space and time are all distinct, measurable entities. However, if we look more closely, we can see that things there seem to be quite different. On this level, the theories of relativity and quantum mechanics can come to the same conclusions that Eastern mystics have long held. Here are three main concepts that I extract to share with you. Lesson 1, modern physics theories seem to be more in agreement that everything is connected as they developed. According to contemporary physics, time and space, energy and matter, phenomena and their observers, are all interconnected. The idea that time and space are interdependent was one of Einstein's most controversial theories. Since it takes time for light to reach human eyes, events that are farther away from a viewer happen later. Time was the absolute, quantifiable frame in which everything occurred prior to this 1905 discovery. Our space once three-dimensional space now has a fourth dimension, time. It follows that discussing time without also discussing space is impossible. Each of them only exists in relation to the other, an inseparable entity known as space-time. Einstein even found that energy and matter are just two aspects of the same reality. His famous equation East equal to mc square has the following deeper meaning. Energy and mass are interchangeable as that equation describes. Two theories about light existed up until 1905. Huygens discovered light could behave like waves, while Newton claimed it was made of tiny photon particles. In the end, given Einstein's theory, they were both correct. In addition, quantum physics has shown that if you observe something at a quantum level, you will connect with it and somehow become a part of the scene. In quantum mechanics, there's no such thing as an external observer. Modern physicists now agree that everything in the universe is connected, as a result of these many equivalents. Lesson 2, the universe and all matter within it consistently exhibit movement and change. The Big Bang, a large explosion that gave birth to the universe, was discovered by astronomer Edwin Hubble in 1929. It had continued to slowly grow ever since. Most physicists believe that this growth will continue indefinitely, but some believe that it will eventually slow down and possibly even start to contract. Its movement won't stop in either scenario. All things, large and small, including planets and subatomic particles, move all the time. Protons, neutrons, and electrons can only exist in dynamic structures. Energy patterns flow while particles continuously change from one form to another. Atomic matter as we know it today is created when stable atomic particles combine. But they're never still. They continue to oscillate rhythmically. Going back to Einstein's famous equation, the perpetual cycle of motion of matter becoming energy and energy becoming matter is another. Energy itself moves in the form of waves and particle vibrations. In our universe, the dance of the elements never stops. Lesson 3 Modern physics shares the same beliefs in unity and temporality as Asian mystics do. Eastern wisdom has known for ages that reality is unity and dynamism. The oldest religions include Taoism, 
Buddhism, and Hinduism. From 2000 to 500 BC, they were born in China and India. Brahman, the inner essence of all things, is one of the central ideas in Hinduism. Furthermore, it views the world as a dynamic reality in which things and the relationships between them change over time. Liberation is the highest spiritual state attainable in Hinduism. When you experience this unity and constant movement, liberation happens. But rationality cannot bring about liberation. Only through the practice of yoga and meditation can you improve your perception. Buddhists hold that the Dharmakaya, or oneness of everything, is the path to enlightenment. This is because the majority of our negative feelings stem from our perception that we are separate from the rest of the world. To free ourselves from this suffering, it is crucial to recognize that everything is just temporary. As all things arise and pass away, Buddhists believe that almost nothing in life is worth worrying about. Lao Tzu, a Taoist master, also proposed the existence of an energy that pervades and unites all things, like the Brahman in Hinduism and Dharmakaya in Buddhism. He called it the Tao, or the Way. According to Lao Tzu in the 7th century BC, going far means returning, and returning is the motion of the Tao, therefore, the Tao is also a dynamic force. Science and spirituality are ultimately much closer than we think after millennia of disputes. Of course, some had known all along, such as Werner Heisenberg, a great physicist. In the history of human thinking the most fruitful developments frequently take place at those points where two different lines of thought meet. Here is a short summary. This book exposes the similarities between the tenets of physics and those of Buddhism, Hinduism, and Taoism, challenging many preconceptions about Western science and Eastern spirituality. The Tao of physics may not be 100% accurate in terms of science today, but it has only grown more endearing with time. Asian religions' intuitions are increasingly being supported by physics. Naturally, people are interested in learning more about the connections between the two now. This book is a great place to start for all of them. That's it for today. Remember to like comment share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.